Okay, so I've opened up After Effects here. Um, we've got on to, we need to create a new project. Okay, so uh, what I need to do is get the files off the desktop. And we're just gonna select them all and drag and drag them into the side panel. Uh, what we've already done is we've named the clips already to make it easier for us in the order that we're going to be putting them in. Okay, so how stop motion works is stitching together a load of photos to make a video. So here I've named the two sequences that we'll be using as time lapses. It's time lapse seven and time lapse nine in the order uh, in the order that we're going to be putting them in in the movie. Um, so to import these all these photos as videos, all you have to do is uh, go to project import file and then select the first select the first photo and go to options and import as a JPEG sequence. So now these files should be in there as one collective sequence. I'm just doing the same for time lapse nine. Okay, so now I'm just going to drag and drop one of the time lapses down there, and just to the image is actually bigger than the screen, so I'm just going to uh, click onto transform and fit to comp. Okay, so now I'm just going to click on right click on composition. We're going to go on composition settings, and I'm going to set the frame rate at ten frames. A second, which is usually a good rate for stop motion. As you can see, we're playing it back. So, actually, what we wanted to do with this file is to reverse it so we can have everything going back to the original position. So, what I'm going to do is drag this to just before the end because uh, we've got some space at the end we don't actually need. And go to edit, split layer, so you can see the other layer we've got at the bottom. Now we're going to need to copy and paste that, which you can do on the keyboard. There we go. So then we should have two, two of them. So we need to put that on the other side. Uh, right click and we're going to go to time and time reverse layer so then if we play that through it will reverse back uh, 
Okay, so then now to save this as a file, we need to go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. And we'll go down here and you can see where it says lossless. So what we need is we need the exact settings you can see on the screen. Press OK. Click on the file, save it as whatever you want. So I'm going to save this as 7 because that's the order. Press save. And as you can see, press render. And then that'll be saving as one single QuickTime file that should appear on the desktop. <coughs> as you can see, we've got it there. And what we've done is turned those series of photos in the file into just one single video file. Cool. So now we're just going to do exactly the same thing for time lapse nine. So that's transform, fit to comp, right click on composition, composition settings, it's already on 10 from the last time. Okay, so that's where we want to cut it. There you go. So then we're going to split layer again, copy and paste, and just drag that to where we want it. There we go. And then we're going to go to time, time reverse layer, and we've done exactly the same thing for our second clip. There we go. Okay, so then I'm just going to export that as well. So that's add to render queue. Go on, click on lossless and make sure the settings are just like that. Click on the movie, save it as nine and then render. And now we have a file for our second time lapse. And done. So actually to edit it together in the movie that we're making now, I'm gonna actually do it in Premiere. So as you can see, what we've done is, if we just zoom in, what we've got is our all of our different movie clips, which we've just done the same thing, dragged from the desktop and put together in the right order to create our video. And on the side, um, we've nested all of them together, which you can do by, there we go, if we just do it, select and nest. So that makes it all into one movie. And then after, and then after we've nested it all together, we've just color corrected and added some sound. You win. 